So one of the few remaining members of the team from last year. Sent sailing though. Pereira coming down early and the action does not stop. Once the buck off happens, gives us an opportunity to highlight the U.S. Border Patrol protection team. We may be in a five on five team series format, but those three just as important as ever. And all three familiar faces, Cody Webster, obviously the living legend who we see every single weekend, Lucas Teodoro, and now Nathan Harp in the mix. These three together are as good as any trio that has ever stepped in an arena. Our guys are lucky to have them. It's familiar music playing here. But it's going to stay scoreless here and come down to the one final out for both Austin and Missouri. There's a, a lot of teams that were 0-1, 1-0 even last night that are cheering for the Missouri Thunder to take down the Austin Gamblers in this game. And as you said, it's all going to come down to the final two athletes. I mean, it's basically, it's just a head-to-head -head winner take all in this game right now. He never accepted mediocre, and he doesn't expect that from his guys. Joel Lucas Campos, a <laughs> too tall. Oh. Improved to be too tall the task today. Four and 72, that clock is going to stop. Campos, third overall pick in the draft this season. Finished 11th at the World Finals, won the Velocity Finals, leading PBR Brazil. A guy that very much makes sense to have as your leadoff man. Yeah, and this ball, sorry, Matt, to cut you off, but this ball spent a lot of time in the air. You can see he's just tilted into his hand right here, and he could never quite get back to the middle. Well, and a guy that even through all of that is still pretty new to the United States of America. And there is, you, you came from Australia. There's an adaptation process. We're going to see a lot more positivity from this guy. The first ride of the year for Missouri, and it comes from Furlong. What a moment for the young gun. And what a ride for Missouri. They're a little bit slow to start this season, but the happiness that you see from the coaching staff there, Luke Snyder and Ross Coleman, look how much that means to the whole entire team. Now the weight is off their shoulders. They just need to go and do their job. And, and that is exactly what the team is going to do. And it was enough to take the lead 87 and a half. Take a look at this Can-Am cam and just enjoy the performance by this young Brazilian. You talk about all the accolades he's had in his home country and a lot of times it takes a little longer to blossom into those expectations here in this league, but he is flexing on them right now. They're not too far from their headquarters based in Missouri as well. So both of these teams fighting for supremacy of the Show Me State. Sky's the limit in 18 outs at this level. He's given up one qualified ride. for this team gets what they need and keeps Missouri alive. Well, talk about pressure. It's a must-ride situation, and that is what changes you around. If you're having a few, uh, let's just say, bad rides, you make a ride like that, that can change your entire season and your entire team around. This ball big jumps around to the right. When he turns back into his hand, Andrew Alvidrez dominates it. Bass Pro Shops replay showing you the reason why you want to bet on Andrew Alvidrez every single time. You talked about the Bulls record. They had only ridden him once before. He's tough to get to the whistle on, but always bet on double A. And that's what Coach Coleman and Snyder just did. 85 points awarded for the effort. They still need one more qualified ride to have a chance to get the win, but it kept them alive. 18-year-old's kind of been the talk of the town in the minor leagues. And they find another one. Matson monsters up all the right moves for eight. Gets
that's another one on the board for Missouri. Lots of positive to take away for Coach Ross Coleman and crew. Absolutely, and they've been searching for that here in the last games, and, and they haven't found it, but tonight they showed up, and they showed up to right. And I am a big fan of this young man right here, and he was disappointed last night, but to show up and, and be the last man out, be 18 years old, be number five on on the list and have to make a ride. How good is that? And the momentum they will take out of that for till next week will be amazing. He might just be 18 years old, but he showed you in that Las Vegas cam just a moment ago that he has all the technique and ability to be a world-class level athlete in this league. This should give him a lead. Two nights in a row, and Missouri takes the lead in this one. And it is definitely a different team that's showing up here at the later part of this weekend. They have got a fire lit underneath them, and we all look at it and say it was only a matter of time because you can't have Ross Coleman and Luke Snyder as your coaches and continue on the path you were. They are going to change your mind and talk you into riding bulls. That's what Ross Coleman does. The Thunder strike big with this one, 87 and a quarter. Yeah, and now we've just got a back and forth battle for the rest of the night, I think, with these two teams. The Missouri Thunder have definitely turned a corner. And that short-term memory comes into play here because forget about the first few games of the season. All that matters is what have you done for me lately? And both these teams doing a lot here tonight. <laughs> Another guy that towards the end of, of last year's UTB season really started to come into his own. Here we go. Come on, Campos. Missouri's on the board, and we've got a game in Kansas City. That's the way he ended the regular season for the Unleash the Beast individual series. Watch this. Back flipping yeah. his way to a big ride here tonight. Yeah, and like I said, they were only one ride away from changing things around. They got three of them last night. Now they've started off the way that they want. It's not going to be, in my opinion, enough points to go to the lead, but the key is they've got an eight seconds uh, qualified ride, and that's what's important in this game. They need to ride every ball that they let out the shoot gate today. But it is big enough to keep it close. You're right, though, 89 and a quarter. So they will not take the lead. But after you see a 91 and a half, you've got to have big scores just to keep up. By the way, Tets is 91 and a half. That's a league best this season. Yeah, and think about the struggles that both of these teams had had coming into this performance. Both of these teams were just searching for answers. And now 91 and a half and 89 and a quarter to kick it off for their teams respectively. Of Florida. That's exactly what he's going to match up with here. I know he's seen this bull. See how bad you want it. Is going to get slung down in 4 and 77, but an opportunity to fill this caliber of bull and uh, something to build on for yeah. a young bull. And, yeah. and I love the fact that you can't say he didn't try. As to take a look at this Las Vegas replay, and that's the one thing that Ross and Luke are going to ask out of their guys. They're not going to ask for a lot. Just try. That is the key component to the Thunder's uh, mantra. Just try. And that kid just tried everything he had. Yeah, just a little bigger, a little stronger, a little faster. A couple more rides under his belt. He's going to be just fine. Missouri Thunder picks up their first win, moves to 1-2 and two on the weekend. Ridge Riders were 3-0 here a year ago. They're shut out in Kansas City. It was at 89 and a quarter a week ago. Here he's getting set aboard Black Gold. Ooh. Comes down early, gets hung up, and takes a shot. Clock's going to stop at 4.02, but just good to see Campos on his feet. Yeah, and I think this, like I said, this was a very important start for the Missouri Thunder. If he got this bull road, that's going to make, make the momentum for everybody else. And this is a plenty rideable bull. First bull we're seeing out of the shoots tonight. Just turns back to the right into his riding hand. I think that was just a lack of concentration because that is a bull at this level you're supposed to ride every time. Just going to have to stand up there and nod his head. He has to do it. I mean, it's not going to feel right, but he's got to get out of the shoot. There you go. 
you see the red flags flying, which means a rewrite opportunity, which on paper worked well in uh, still lots going on in the arena. Those bullfighters going to work. I'm going to stop what I'm saying, and we're just going to highlight what we just saw there. It's absolutely insane how much depth there is in our U.S. Border Patrol safety team because typically we see a, a couple of guys that aren't here. Cody Webster at home nursing some injuries. So Lucas Teodoro, the Brazilian, who's here week in and week out. Take a look at the other guys moving in there. Dusty Tuckness, who's been a PRCA Bullfighter of the Year for a decade. Young Austin Ashley, who is just an absolutely incredible talent. Those are the two stepping in there right now, having a little fun. Kind of getting their feet wet early tonight, getting a couple of bumps along the way. You know what, what do they say? Rubbin's racing. That's what those guys are doing, getting in there and getting a feel for I don't want to have anything to do with that rubbing. <laughs> The only thing you can, can control is the ride. And he did everything. He got every point out of that ball. Everything he needed to do tonight, he's done. And now it's dead in judges' hands. And I think, being an uneducated fan, that it's going to be enough. Hey, you want to hear something cool. His brother Briggs is on the Oklahoma sideline, and you can hear him cheering for his brother. That is what is cool about this concept. They're on separate teams, but he is still rooting for him, guys. He needs an 89 and a half to get the win. There is his older brother Briggs watching from the Oklahoma sideline. Oh. 88 and a quarter. Oh, no. Uh, went to Brazil, scouted, and said, you've got to be on my team. Oh, 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 oh. Campos comes alive aboard Domino, the first to ever hear the whistle on that bovine star. Well, you'd be able to do that in front of your coach when your coach needs it. Talk about confidence and the athletic ability of this young man. He's got a sore leg and he still does the back. He limped over to the fence and then did a backflip. That makes no sense to me. It's like Ross Coleman speaking Portuguese. I don't understand why, but I enjoy it when it happens. Yeah, and seeing the look on Ross's face right there, that is the look we've seen, I've seen for years and years when I was riding, and that was what made you want to be a bull rider. And it's going to rub off. You can see it slowly going getting its momentum and I mean you can't do any better than that and good for Missouri they've been looking for it and they've been fighting for it and he's awarded 84 and three quarters for the effort perhaps lower than you thought would be on Domino because he started to run off at the end it seems like that bull did not know what to do with the rider on his back all the way to the whistle I still don't understand the backflip with the sore leg and limp into the fence well, I just can't get past well you it. would do it if you could I, no with way. a sore leg to hurry down to four Go, seconds. Kate. Go, Kate. Looks right, goes left, but Matson. Oh my goodness. Never liked it from the beginning. It does not end just because the ride is over. As you're seeing the U.S. Border Patrol Protection Team going to work there and taking some shots to keep Matson safe. Yeah, now don't worry about this ride. It didn't quite go the way they wanted, but them three guys out there just saved yeah. Cade from serious injury, putting themselves in a position. Look at this. There is not a normal human out there would do this, but this is taking a shot from a big black monster. Austin that, Ashley that there. Is, uh, that is a great young man. Austin Ashley who took a shot. You can see. Uh, just going to rub some dirt on it. Lucas Teodoro talking to him. Kate Matson just could not get up to his feet, and no matter which direction he turned, that bull had him in his sights. You see Dusty Tuckness there. They're going to have a good laugh about it, but it's all part of the job. The effort was there. He needed about half a second more. And that he did. Are they reviewing it? 
That is all Ross Coleman asks of any of his guys. Just give me everything you got. Just threw the flag, so that is a challenge from Coach Ross Coleman. I thought you tried your butt off, you hear me? You guys heard it. Ross thought, Ross thought he made it. Ross thought he made it. Okay. I thought you made it too. So remember, even if you didn't make it, you got to finish strong, okay? All right? Don't worry about all that. If you did it or not, you remember you can ride in some bucks for 12, 15 seconds every time, okay? Right here. Bing. Back it up. Up. Well, I lost our challenge for us. Okay, now stop it. Go forward. There. Mother, mother. There, right there. Stop it at uh, no. My bad, Luke. Score seven, three, four. My bad, buddy. I don't think Ross feels that bad about losing that challenge. I think that was more than just trying to get that score. I think that was him telling Young Furlong, "Look, I believe in you enough to take a chance. I'm going to throw this one out there, just see what happens." But. I believe in you, kid. Every bull they should run under him. But with a guy like Cooper Rodman, you watch the film and you see what you can do. He keeps moving and makes it. Conquers Kevin and Rosetto. Gets Missouri on the board. You think Ross is happy? And I think that is excitement from relief. It's not going to be the biggest score of this young man's career, but look at the joy that that brought to this Missouri Thunder team. They have been struggling. That's no secret. This is a big, big moment for them. And a big moment for Rosetto. That is his first qualified ride in the PBR Camping World Team Series and gets 85 points. And regardless of the score right here, this is a huge ride. This is the first ride they've put together this weekend, and this now changes the whole momentum of this team. This bull gets out without fouling himself, which he has had a tendency to do. Oh! Because of things like that. You okay? Marcelo, get ready. You heard it there, how quick things can change. We went from maybe seeing eight seconds of fireworks you cannot make a bull perform if they don't want to. Solo wanted to jump early, not his day. He goes back. His work is done for the day, and uh, Missouri will have another opportunity. But let's go back to that. You right know, when the nod happened, too. Absolutely. These bulls get to know. They understand this game, and they are excited. They want to compete. So sometimes, just as much as that gate rattling, they know that gate's coming, and they want to get out, and they want to perform as quick as possible and everything just happened a little early. Riding Solo was just a little excited and wanted to go a little too early, and, and he's been known to do that. But the reason he's been known to do that is also one of the reasons that he's one of the best bulls in the world. That bull loves what he does as much as any right. athlete in this building. Drive, buddy. Drive, Marcelo. Drive, Marcelo. He mentioned how Parkinson really wanted on this one. He really wants that one back now. Comes down early and got to be a bit of frustration there on the sidelines. Austin hangs on and gets the win. You know, I'm just, I'm a little bit shocked on this one from the point of uh, Ross Coleman making. I, I love that mentality and that ideology of being able to step up and make it huge. Gets it done, and the Thunder roll early in Austin. That is why he's on the Missouri Thunder team right there. Coach Luke and Ross knew what they were doing when they picked him. Well, they knew what they were doing when they put him in that situation to start the game off. Now, all of a sudden, Missouri's the team with the hot hand in this game when you look at it like that. 87 and a half points going back to the rider over bull. Two and a half points marked over the bull. Yeah, 45 for Cade Madsen. That means he was good enough to be 90. He needed a little bit more bull, but they still got a great score. He's still good. He's still here. Cade's speechless. He's got to be 76 and a quarter to take the lead. But he comes down early. Furlon bucks off, and Arizona gets the win with outs remaining. Did he look similar 
or different I, than? I think he's bigger now. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it's been a few years ago. But, yes, he was right there around the left. And it uh, looks like he's gotten a lot stronger now. He had a real good seat on score. him. Had a yeah. real good seat on him. Just got him back off his rope. And, uh, that's the best bull score we've seen in this game. And again, that's why he's here. Yeah. We have the best bulls in the world. Tells him this bull belongs here. Go ahead, go ahead. Wow. Absolutely Relay, slammed on the steel. You want to talk about a bull with what we call a hair trigger. Them bulls get so been bucked so many times and know what's happening and all they heard was the shoot gate crack right there and then bull just fire the gates not out of their way and that happens and he's very lucky that didn't turn into worse than it could have been it sounded like ross was already calling on felipe for the re-ride before even saying hey you okay that's my take question it? who's yeah. got more of a hair trigger the bull or ross coleman because right there he's going hey are you, you got your bull rope ready let's go are you ready to get back on? i mean it didn't take him long for anybody that knows Ross, did you really have <laughs> you to ask that is? question? Storm and Norman, the bull. Get out of the ride! Get out of the ride! Let's play! Go! Let's play! Go! Get in! Get in! Get in! And it all comes together, hung up. Good to see Luke get free, but slow to get back up. All season long. Ross Coleman has been touting this young man as being a star in the making. And every week I say, you're sticking with him, what's the deal? And every week he tells me, he's a star, just watch. He finally gets what uh, I believe is gonna be his first qualified ride of the year. I don't know. But either way, think. it has been a brutal weekend and now Missouri feeling the effects here. A whistle now, they're getting a re We got a re-ride regardless. Red flag. By watching this replay, I would say he's he's getting a score. And you can see sports medicine team there in the top left hand corner. They got one more rider over there. And for Missouri, that's good news. Got the qualified ride on the board. 83 will take the lead. You think he got it? Absolutely. The highs and lows all at once. You saw so, Ross so excited that finally Luke Marcello. finds a whistle. At the same time, he comes Marcello. down. Marcello. 75 and a half. Scott, you Marcello, and the judges, different pages tonight. Well, on that defense, I am going to say I misunderstood you on the whistle. If he made the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Not the 83. Not the 83. Okay. They and did. They got that right. I don't know if I'd have been that low, but he shouldn't be winning first. He should be winning second. So let's talk about why you saw the score. Now it came off the board. Playing into that here, but it only takes one. Right in, Marcelo. Go to him, Marcelo. Go to him. Go to him. Go to him. We're seeing it happen again. Yet another guy from Missouri getting four just way too quick. You know, to go back to Flint's point on this, it makes a lot of sense because if you watch, as soon as this bull turns right here, he slides back off his rope a little bit because he's not allowed to lift on his rope to keep his weight down. And if his wrist is bugging him, that'll make a big difference. To take the lead and stay alive. Felipe Furlon aboard Spooky. Furlon, ever so close. The clock here says 7 and 71. Matt, you started to celebrate. Yeah, I, I, super exciting. And you heard Ross Coleman saying, go left, bull, go left, because they knew when that bull turned back to left, he had a chance to really show off. And now it is the seventh time they have been shut out. And this, is, this one's going to sting because this is what they thought was the magic formula around to the left for Felipe. And the interesting thing about this, when we come back to the coaching perspective, 
they'd already used their challenge and they don't have that to use again. Was it a long time to make up some time? Yes, but was there a chance? Maybe, but they didn't have that opportunity. So a little different than when JW decided to not use hers and they still get the win. I did a podcast with Briggs last season and he talked about his long, younger brother and how he admired his baby brother. We'll take a look at big brother stepping up here. Madsen, right at the whistle. You gotta think they're gonna look at it. But what a ride, surely, if he makes the whistle. It should be a walk-off. It's going to be enough points. I do know that, and I think he's going to be there long enough. But how good is this for Briggs, Matson? He has done exactly what the team wanted when they signed him earlier this week. I think it was Wednesday this week. And gritting it out right until the... Oh, yes. I bragged on our replay official earlier. He better not mess this one up. I want to come right out of there. It's been his younger brother getting the game winners for Missouri, the big ones when they come, the big rides. Now can older brother Briggs do just the same. Sorry to interrupt you, but... Uh, no, you're not. True, <laughs> watch this left hand. No, oh, yeah. not a chance. He's good. He's good. Come on, Briggs. He's yeah. good. Great to see that. Madsen makes it now, waiting on the score. Look at, look at the difference a day can make right there. You see it. He gets it. It's the game winner in his first hour with the Thunder. What a ride. Missouri takes it. Briggs, Madsen, three bulls with Oklahoma all season. You come here, you get it. You get a first chance, a second chance. This has got to feel great. Oh, it does. I'm just happy to be doing what I love and to do it with my brother now with a couple of great coaches and a great team. It's awesome. Winning's fun, isn't it? No, it is. <laughs> Big, stout, strong kind of bull underneath him. And so he's been doing well. Come on, Andrew. <laughs> Big ride, even bigger for that team. Flexing on them here tonight. Andrew Alvitrez showing up, showing out, and emphatically saying, I'm back. The Andrew you guys knew from a season ago just made his return to the U.S. after riding bulls like this in Brazil. Now, let's put this Thunder team on my shoulders and let's ride to a big one. His last qualified ride was week two in Kansas City with sideline Nashville Austin rehabbing injuries. Well, here he is, first event back, and now first ride back. It's a big one, 89 points. That is a huge response to Carolina just getting on the board. He's got a great bull, and I'm legit too, and they need this young man to strike quickly. Scripted. The young gun answers huge for Missouri and surely will be plenty of points. Watch out to take the lead. Good thing he's quite a runner too, huh? Yeah, well, that's where the youthfulness comes that's in. Right. But he's very excited <laughs> because he I know he's been disappointed the last couple of games because he hasn't been able to, you know, do what he's wanted to do. But there's so much talent in this young guy that we're used to seeing it. And when he doesn't perform, we, we just want him to do it more and more. But he just answered a simple question for Missouri. Can we do it? Yes, we can. 88 and three quarters aboard I'm Legit 2. Put that one at the top of the highlight reel. Yeah, and I think that this is exactly why they went out and they acquired him on draft day. And I think that is one of the two smartest moves Missouri has made this season. The other, getting his brother. That's a smart move right there, getting up to safety. But the other was getting his older brother because I think that made this kid settle in. He got a lot more comfortable and now he can just react like he just did and put some numbers up for his team. I wanted to see the eight just to see what that score would have been. 
that huge potential, he started to move that outside leg right away too. Yeah, I mean, he was going. He knew he had to try and make some catching up to do right there. When that ball got around the corner, you can see he's into his hand a little bit here. But this is disappointment for the Missouri team because this was a great opportunity to not only get a score but a massive one. And I think the judges are going to see enough where you'll see a big score on that side of, of the ball. 46 point bull score for flying wired for our new fans if he made the whistle you're looking at a 94 95 competing in brazil trying to rehab come on campos welcome back first out since being out with injury and finds the whistle on his home dirt. And there's no better way than to, to be able to follow up with a ride from the opposition to come back and just counter punch them back and show everyone that you guys are still in this. We're still in this, don't count us out. And like you said, he struggled with some groin injuries and that can be tough for a bull rider, but he went back home to Brazil, got things sorted out, came back. And these are the rides that the Missouri Thunder have been expecting from him. And we've got a tie game, friends. 87 points awarded for the effort. And from Coach Luke Snyder, Brennan and Kate, uh, before he rode, he said, if we could get him to concentrate as much on bull riding as perfecting his backflip, he'd ride a lot more of them. Well, he knows he's going to ride, so he's got to make sure the backflip is on point. If you become a part of the Thunder family, you have a chance to take a new appreciation for the outdoors. We know bull riding is competition, but even with a fishing pole in your hand, the competition continues. Joao Lucas Campos and Marcelo Pereira show us just that. Yep, let's go take some fish, JC. Let's go fish. I'm good to do it, Marcelo. Good. Nice Marcelo. to meet you. John Lucas. John Lucas. Yeah, excited. Yeah. I have a son in Brazil. In three years. He says, uh, I have one boy in Brazil, three years old. And he has fiance in America now, but she's from Brazil. And he say he wants to marry her next week. He tell me now, I don't know, this is new for me, but yeah, he tell he ready for marry next week. I'm in here, but the fish is much. I think the fish say, oh, this guy don't understand nothing, the fish. He ride the bull. I have a lot of fun together here. The Missouri Thunder take the four new boys from Brazil this year, and nobody speak English. I try for help everyone, but now he have fiance. She speak English, and now she, he don't need more me now. <laughs> I think I know good professional fish because I try one hour. I don't take nothing, I go make barbecue. <laughs> yeah, the last time he take six fish. I take three. He ah, <laughs> said the fish find my smell and come. <laughs> yeah, I think some cologne he use. I think the fish like it. Yeah. Você prefere montar em boi ou pescar? Ah, eu prefiro montar em boi. Yeah, he prefer ride bulls. <laughs> Por quê? Ah, montar em boi é garantido, né? He say, uh, the bull I go ride more guaranteed. I make my money from home. <laughs> Come alive, Missouri Campos on the board. Wilson, put the brakes on. You know, they, Kate, they love, Coach Ross Coleman and Luke Schneider love the matchup they had with Joao Lucas Campos in this bull. The only better matchup of the day was that he proposed to his girlfriend today. A little bounce in his step today. A lot of celebration going on for Campos and uh, that backflip, I think it's perfected at this point. And we've talked all season long about the talent that they have on this team. They just have not been performing. And this is what we see, need to see more of because that is going to change their season around. And this right now is going to be a good testament to see whether it changes everyone's vision of what they are possible and what they can do tonight. 87 and a half awarded for the effort. Flint, you left it out. She said yes, right? Did she well, say yes? I'm a, I've never got that news, but I assumed he would not put it on social media if she said no. You this think just he did in. A Her response was obrigado. <laughs> Which would put the Rattlers in a must ride situation. How about that for the 
young gun, 20 years old. You talked about what he's capable of, and he just showed everyone. Yeah, and he's going to continue to show people, but the biggest story here is the Missouri Thunder has never given up. And like I talked about, they have so much talent and depth in this, in this organization. It just hasn't been performing for them. And right here, away from his hand, Quinn, like I said, so much talent. But stepping up to the plate and changing things around in their home court today is exactly what the Missouri Thunder needed to do. 87 points awarded for the effort, and now Texas has to ride to stay in this one or the home team takes it. Matson makes it! He makes the whistle, he gets the win. The Thunder rolling here. His family celebrating, but we are being told they are going to review for a slap. And Flint, you're right there what's about to be a family celebration if this goes Madsen's way. Yeah, but he's got uh, he's got older brother Briggs, his dad Doug, who looks like he can ride one. Let's see, let's see if he makes it on this review. Right there, this is gonna be perfect here. Can't, can't tail there, right here. Yeah, right here, this one. It looks good, it looks Let good. Let me see the one from the back of the chute, Sean, also. Give me that one on the back right here. Okay, coming around, it's gonna be the next round. Not there. Right here. You better mark him, guys. That's, that's a qualified ride. Not only a qualified ride, but that is a game winner for Kate Matson. Well, well, Kate, talk about a team full of riders that need things to go their way and change their seasons around, and they have done that in front of their home crowd in their own backyard tonight, and they've beat one of the toughest teams in the game. Dad Doug with the celebration hug. And it's because of eight seconds like this, but not just any eight, 90 points. Mama Madsen on her feet, and of course you are after one like that. The whole family celebrating. Heck, everybody in the Ozarks celebrating. This is a monumental win for this franchise, and that is proof of why they went out on draft day and got the young teenager. Down here with the coaches of the Missouri Thunder, Luke Snyder. Ross Coleman, Luke Snyder, you first. You're a Missouri guy looking out on that hillside in this beautiful venue. Boy, what a great time to get your first win this season. Uh, it sure was, Flint. We couldn't be more proud to give a good showing for this hometown crowd. And uh, you just got to trust the process. We never stopped believing in these boys, never one, one day. Ross, you told me before the night started, this is our night. We got the guys that can ride. They just need to put it together. It came together tonight. Absolutely, they did good, I'm proud of them, and we're gonna keep on getting better, and I'm happy to do it right here in front of the hometown crowd. Appreciate y'all. Missouri Thunder with a big win on a Saturday night in the Ozarks. Congratulations. I think he's leaning on the, on his rear Fuck end on the back it. of the shoe. Fuck there it. you go. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's a perfect weekend for Joao Lucas Campos. Three qualified rides to celebrate. A new fiance in Monique right there to celebrate with as well. What a time for Joao. Yeah, and, and what a time for the Missouri Thunder. They've been fighting it all year long, and it's been a very difficult road for them, but they've finally started to change things around for this reason right here. Joao has been putting them additional rides together and making that team and out of that first position. I, I, I love everything about this because he's just getting everyone, and you can see the body language of this entire team, including the coaching staff. It has changed changing their season around just one ride at a time. There's the cheers from the fiance. Congratulations to Joao and Monique. We hadn't seen Campos since week three. He was in Brazil competing for a championship, sidelined with a groin injury, and now he's back. And he is the first rider we have this weekend that is perfect three for three. Remember, there's that bonus MVP money. Dang, dang is the goal. A 
away good, from good, his good. hand. Good. He good. does it again. Good. 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 Sister good. Mom, good. some happy members of the Madsen family, and the home team is and, in the lead. And the momentum that they're getting right now, the Missouri Thunder Flint down there, the morale behind that shoot just looks a whole lot different than it has been in the past weeks. It is, and, and uh, that made a good point. Uh, with the momentum, we've talked about moving Cade Madsen off that first spot. He got bucked off this bull Friday night in 2.6 seconds. I think it was coach Nick Saban said, never miss an opportunity to make the most of a failure. He made the most of a failure on Friday, wrote him today. Dad Doug on the back of the shoots, brother Briggs. It is a family affair here at Nature's Arena for the Madsen family. Lots to celebrate in this beautiful country. Could he be the hero for the Missouri Thunder here today? But he gets forward on Mike's motive and comes down in just two seconds. And again, it just goes to show you guys how quickly this sport can change its dynamic. You can go from hero to frustrated in a matter of seconds. Yeah, the, the best weekend of his life is what we've called it. I'm sure he would agree. You get engaged, you ride three, you win the MVP bonus, and it's got to end like that. Yeah, and the big thing here is for the Missouri Thunder, they were needing that rod as well because their season was slowly getting changed around, and it's not over yet for them, but I'm going to look to see that there's going to be a few more rides here that where, you know, with the next four guys getting on, They've got some things to be changed around, but Missouri Thunder just let that one slip out of their fingers. You know what I would do if I were Compos? Go talk to Johnny Morris about maybe uh, scouting out a wedding venue. Oh, wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be a bad idea. Can you turn that around here? Matt, it's your favorite bull name. Chapatulis. There it is. And, and I love how... I'm the only one that even knows what that is. And you never even explained it. It's a street in New Orleans, Chapatulas. Come on, guys, do a little homework. Guys, uh, and I, I suspected it in real time. Ross Coleman throwing the yellow flag. That ball appeared to foul himself to the point, Ross said, how do you miss that? I kind of think the same, actually. That is a re-ride right there. No doubt. Yes, yep. So Furlon. Perhaps with another opportunity, unless the coaching staff goes a different direction with who they put on that bowl. I'm still thinking about you saying you do all your homework in New Orleans. Let's go. I, I do my homework everywhere. And I, I look, Ross Coleman's done his homework on Felipe, and he just did a little test of, of willpower and, and heart right there. He was really in his face. And you saw after they made the decision together how emphatic Ross Coleman was that he was on board and he believes in his guys. Guys, we have talked, we really started the conversation last week about open doors. Not much on this bull at this level, only showing one career out. Oh! Hung up as the U.S. Border Patrol protection team goes into work and takes a shot there as well. Did you see how quick he just got up? I was going to say, we don't like anything about anything that happened in that from the way the buck off happened in the hang up, but him getting up quickly is the only good to come from that. We, we've made a lot of references to other sports already here today, but there is not an athlete alive outside of the sport of bull riding that could have bounced up the way Paulo just did after all of that. Okay, right there. Under review, right, just looking for the right official there, buck off right time. There, Sean, stop right there. A slap at 5.58, five, official time, 5.58. Five, five, yeah, and, and you know, that, that's an afterthought for me right now because watching the way he got hung up and the bullfighters just trying to find an opportunity. Again, you talk about doors, trying to find just a window, just a tiny crack uh, of opportunity to get in there. Look at that spur. That spur in the left leg gets caught in that bull rope. It's just one of those freak accidents and there is nothing he can do at this point. He's just at the mercy right there, just hoping it comes out in the in the best position possible so that doesn't happen. Uh, great job by Lucas Teodoro. You saw him reaching up to grab that foot, and that bull was moving so fast that his horns kind of pushed him back, took his opportunity away. And 
Felipe finds it. Puts those 14 buck-offs in the rear view window because we're looking forward. Missouri Thunder, they're rolling. Before Felipe even nodded his head, I was about to say that I'm going to look really smart or Ross Coleman is going to look really smart. <laughs> and Ross looks really smart here because I was starting to get nervous because when you are been bucked off 14 times, how do you keep putting a guy in the lineup because he's not making your team better? But Ross believed in something and he's seen it and it answered it right here. Look, we saw it with one of the best in the game, Eduardo Aparecido for Arizona, just continued to buck off and stayed in that slump, and his team kept instilling that belief in him. And then when you see a bull like Sugar Smack next to your name, my goodness, Missouri had to be excited about that opportunity. Now Felipe's on the board, all that pressure's off. Here we go. You, you gotta believe these guys are ready to step it up. Now it's Felipe Furlong aboard Arnold Palmer. A way to turn it around in Greensboro came into North Carolina oh we're not done the arena you were talking about that Scott but came in right in a 14 buck off run that he was wanting to snap and what does he do comes here two outs two qualified rides Is it too early to say that he's on a hot streak guys <laughs> Matt Matt you and I talked I'm going to take some credit for Felipe. You were giving me a bad time that last night. I pointed out that he's the league leader in buckoffs. Now two in a row. He's still the league leader in buckoffs, but he's two for two this weekend. He's got 84 and a quarter points. It says he raced all of that in the past. He's two for two. Great job. Just trying to put myself in the coach's position on, on why they keep, oh. keep putting him on. And I understand injuries play into this, but... It, it, it's just, I'm struggling to figure it out. Took a slamming there, and then it seemed those feet came right down on him as well. Well, you're not the only one struggling to figure out what's going on here. You know, we talk about the awkward calm in the arena. It's like neither one of these teams can get any momentum and energy, and then something like that happens, and it takes the air out of the room. Watch this. I hate to say this, but cover the kid's eyes. This is not fun to watch. And he gets folded up and then right smack dab down with those back feet man and again it's a reminder of how incredibly dangerous this sport is but take a look at that the grande brought everything Alvidrez's way and he was there for every single jump of the dance gets the qualified ride still won't be enough Missouri had to get more scorers on the board but a big game for the Thunder yeah it's huge and in particular for Andrew Alvidrez as, as the leader of this team to get this ride was, was huge for him to be able to go back in that locker room with his head held high and continue to be in that leadership role, now let's transition now to uh, more positive energy going into tomorrow. Absolutely, he has to take it into the locker room and show his team we need to build on that for tomorrow because we can do this. Here in Greensboro. But he comes down early, just two seconds away from putting himself right in the middle of this MVP race. Whoa. Just a little quick move there. <laughs> Scott, you said it just because the, the ride or the buck off is over. The action does not end on the dirt. Hey guys, climbing that shark cage is not as easy as it looks. Believe me. If there's anyone that would know, Flynn, I trust your opinion on that one. Trust me. Yeah. I do. I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to trust you. Yeah, and for fans that might be new here tuning in on CBS Sports, Flint was actually the exclusive entertainer out in the arena for the PBR for, I, I think, a 1,000 years or something like that. Right I mean, had a great career. Right there. Thank you, Matt. You bet. He is sad, Miss Primo. He is sad, Miss Primo. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there now. Get over there now. He evens the score. Alvidrez with a huge correction. He is 
at about two seconds, and that was plenty to go the distance, and Missouri gets on the board. And he took a savage approach to the beginning of this ride because a lot of guys could have checked out in the position he was in, but not Andrew Alvidrez. That is the best listener in the world because he did exactly what Ross Coleman was coaching him through. Not that he heard it, but he never gave up. Get over there. He moved over there. Keep trying. He did. That is really great to see. The thing about Alvidrez is he is a sponge, and when his coaches talk, he listens, and he absorbs every ounce of what they give here. Way to finish strong, man. And a finish that was... Finish strong. That was a good job, buddy. Awarded 88 and a quarter, so Missouri takes the lead. Cowboys do right there. Yes, sir. But Cade comes down early as that U.S. Border Patrol protection team goes to work. And five outs, Missouri unable to get rolling. And the worst part of it is watching your superstar limping back to the sideline. It's so tough for Missouri because and we put so much pressure on young Cade Matz and it just... 18 because he was so highly touted as one of those top draft picks. But you look at a, a lineup that has guys like Andrew Alvidrez in it, like his older brother Briggs, like Manuelito. I mean, it's almost unfair to put all the pressure squarely on Cade Matson time and time and time again. Goes two for three, seems to start be turning this season around just when his team needs him. Ooh. But then you get a bull like Baby Huey, another bull with an unblemished record, and take a hit to the ground. That was a scary way to land. Good to see him on his feet. Yeah, and it looked like he was kind of stuck there for a moment. I don't know if it was a hip issue or a leg issue, but he was very slow to get up and landed kind of awkwardly. And so, uh, again, another little piece of adversity that Missouri right. maybe avoided here. Oh, you see. That leg being slammed into that steel corner post right here. That knee slammed right into the steel. You know how you don't get your knee slammed into there? How's that? Is by staying on the bull. Good point. And if you try harder. Border Patrol protection team goes to work and sounds like the officials are looking for a slab. Yeah, and at about three and a half seconds, I, I think it gets pretty right and gnarly. Watch this. Let's, uh, Ooh. Let's have uh, let's have the camera off the back, please. And not only is it going to result in a right. buck off, this it's going to result really in a headache tomorrow okay. morning. Well, back it, it, it is. I right. think there's no he's doubt that eating. he's going to be disqualified go here, go but more. from the coaching okay. staff, you okay, have to here. look at this from a right. positive. There. The try right and there. effort and the no will to no never score. give three, up, three, five, that's what they're looking at. That's what they're expecting. They can use this now as motivation. DeSouza Jr. is still searching for his first qualified ride of the season in Missouri now in a must-ride situation. Okay, when, when they scouted Paulo Rosetto in Brazil, he could ride with either hand. Interestingly, this is the first time in competition this year in a game that he is riding with his left hand. So the legend is true for those people watching at home. That's really hard. With his right hand, he is one ride in seven attempts this season. Could the left hand be that change that needed to happen? Scott, I've got all kinds of questions after this hour. <laughs> to the left with the left hand, Rosetta rises. That should be two qualified rides. Missouri, they get on the board. Don't ever let him take the glove what? off that left hand, yes. ever. Okay, when you said you've got a lot of questions, so do I. <laughs> that, that is impressive. 
In all the years I've watched bull riding, I can name a handful of guys that have that ability to be able to switch hands. And to switch hands and do it at this caliber, that is something very special that you very rarely see. Missouri has been searching for answers, and it looks like they just found one in Rosetta. You can even see the reaction of his teammates. I mean, they're all kind of laughing about it. Like, they even understand that you this think isn't normal. A, why they're, not? Let's try the left today. Well, uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, if you're Missouri right now, it's like you're, you're trying to find things that stick. Well, guess what? That left hand sticks right in that bull rope where it needs to be for eight seconds. And, and I love that right there. You see Luke Snyder in the embrace with his young uh, Brazilian. They're in this fight together. He's aboard Concho. Go, Rick! Go, Rick! Go, Rick! Go, Rick! Go, Rick! Go! Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Briggs. And Briggs, best Concho. Missouri takes the lead for the first time in the game. That's the Briggs Madsen everybody's been looking for. Last season, Oklahoma. Thought they found a diamond in the rough with Briggs Madsen on draft day. They thought they stole him. Well, guess what? Missouri picked him up, and that's the Madsen they've been waiting for. It was back in Oklahoma City he had his first game with Missouri there. It was a walk-off win in the very first game as a member of the Thunder. This could eventually be a game winner. So when he makes the whistle, it matters. Look at his brother, his teammates. Oh, they've been That's cheering the each other on since they were babies, and there you see now the rest of the team embracing Briggs. That's a big ride for Madsen. Great job. That does so much for the team. You can see with the motivation it gives the rest of the team. We could now very well see another ride after this. You know what else I like? I like the fact that we're getting closer to Las Vegas. Last year it was Nashville that did the Cinderella story. Could Missouri Go get him, be looking like that same Cinderella this season? A score could put this game away. Loses his feet, comes down in three, and Carolina stays alive. All comes down to that very last out and Trevor Kastner for the Cowboys. That was about to be a showstopper. Yes, right there. it was. That was about to just put everybody on notice. For Andrew Alvidrez, look at the way this bull leaves that bucket shoot. Look That's right. We talk about animal athletes. Like, look at the extension and how far his front feet are coming off the ground. And then just explodes like that. Bulls like that are amazing to watch. 45-point bull score. That is the highest bull score we've seen in this game. And while Alvidrez is the leader, very much he does that in the bulls they match him up with. Uh, had that broken hand earlier in the season. Set here, board shivers. Oh, gets forward, sets up. Looked like Matos was going to make it. Hand pops out here in seven and 25. Heartbreak for Missouri. We, we talk about this a lot too, is the bull riders making great rides and their hand coming out of the rope. And this is where I'd like to lean on Brendan a little bit back there, like Brendan, what causes their hand to come out? I can always say it from here, but for me, it's it's on the bull rider to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, well, no one's going to make excuses at, at all for Eduardo, but I, I did talk to Coach Luke Snyder a little bit earlier, and he did mention that he had broke his hand earlier on in the season, and that's why they have not used him to his full potential this year. He just got cleared to come back. So in this case here, that's a very good opportunity to look at it like he has had an injury, and that's probably something to do with that hand coming out of that rope because Luke was very, very high, very excited to have him back on the team, and it looked very, very good there for seven but point sec, two, five seconds, but that just goes to show what the Missouri Thunder has been about. It's just close calls, but not close enough. Part of the Missouri traveling with his brother. Let's see if he can get it done. And that's what Missouri needed. Briggs Madsen stepping up, stepping in and showing out here. And Luke Snyder with a smile on his face, but he's going to have to wait a couple of moments to really celebrate okay. because, guys, guess what? Back. Surprise, surprise, they're going to take a look at it. Camera on the side, right over here. That other one, right here. Oh, 
boy. He's a good boy. It's a, it's a ride, guys. It's saw ride. the enthusiasm of Ross Coleman there. And now you see the celebration. Briggs Matson gets Missouri on the board. And it's a great one. 87 and a quarter. And guys, just like that, we've got a tie game here. Yeah, and how exciting is that for Missouri? No one, you know, really gets on their side, and, and everyone kind of rides them off, especially when they're against a side just like Kansas City. But they're not going down without a fight, and and, and you better believe that, that they're going to keep showing up week in and week out, and they're going to try and put uh, scores on the board. And, and Brig Matson has done exactly that all year, and, uh, you know, I'm very happy for this team because they are really trying to do the best for the team. But the thing is, with a lot of these kids, they don't want to wait for the future. They want it to happen right now. Fortunately, it's not going to happen right now for the guy that they have dubbed JLC. And you can, I think you can hear those bullfighters having some fun in there. Again, we, we talk about them, we highlight them, but they truly are the best in the world. They are the most in my, I don't know what they get paid, and it's, it's none not of my enough. business. It's they are the most underpaid athletes on the planet. Yeah, I don't care how much money they're making. It's not enough for what they do and not enough for Joao. As we go now to his team, stay in this. And the Madsen brothers. Get it done for the Missouri Thunder here tonight. Baby brother doing his part. There's a good look at big brother Briggs, who last season the Oklahoma Freedom drafted. Brandon Bates kind of pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Now Missouri benefiting from Briggs Madsen being a part of their roster. And what does Cade Madsen do? 87 and three quarters. And in a must-ride situation for Missouri to stay alive in this game. And these two brothers, and especially Cade at only 18 years of age, just keep impressing me because they keep putting him in, in these pressure situations. And every time he steps up and answers the call time and That's time again. About. And it's this is the highlight right now for Missouri. Don't get it twisted, though. Few people can handle those pressure situations. Bull just his second out of the season. And Andy aces this one. Last opportunity to get a qualified ride in the regular season, and he makes the most of it. Bull is on the board for Missouri. And look at the confidence oozing out of Andy Bowl. That is exactly why we switched the lineup here today if you're the coaches for Missouri Thunder. Give guys like Andy an opportunity to step in and make something huge happen. Carry that confidence into Las Vegas. 88 and a quarter, so they will need another ride to take the lead. If you watch this ride right here, the thing that's so impressive is how patient Andy was in this ride. I had the opportunity that Bull kind of changed it changed gears a little bit and he just waited held his position really like good ride much. for the 23 year old could this be closer than anyone expected in the game that is everything for austin Come on, Glenn. Come on, Glenn. Come on. oh the first half that ride kansas city was going to be your winner but the second half, the buck off, the Gamblers are your regular season champs for the second year in a row. It did not come the way Lemmy or anyone in that locker room expected, but it came 88 and a half to 88 and a quarter. Certainly change the atmosphere on the back of the bucket shoots. Any day, Alvidrez could go the distance on that one. Anybody on any of these teams has the ability to ride any of these bulls. But the thing is, is the momentum, when it shifts the other way, the wind goes out of their sails, and they almost give up before it's over. 
This team has so much try. You're seeing it on the Las Vegas gym cam. We've witnessed it all season long. Try a lot of times results in those rides, but for this team, it, it just seems like it's resulted in frustration, Luke. Yeah, it is. And on the back of the bucket shoot, you could feel the deflation out of these guys, especially after Andrew just got bucked off right there. And, you know, they, they were hoping for a score, hoping to get them the momentum going. But I'm telling you what, it was like all the air got let out of them with that buck off, guys. Great Frank, you mentioned the audition. That's what he does. Flint, you better go celebrate with him. <laughs> They're going to leave it to him, Kate. <laughs> Missouri didn't start this game the way they wanted to, but they ended it the way they intended, and now they've got some kind of momentum to come back in that three-way last chance game. That's exactly right. Did you see the reaction on the buck and shoots? They know they've lost this game. They know this doesn't change anything, but what it just did was raise morale for the rest of the team to realize, hey, we've got one more game. We still have a chance. And for all those old fuddy-duddies sitting at home saying there's no momentum, quote-unquote, in bull riding, you're wrong. Momentum is such a big part of what we're doing here in PBR teams, and that just helped get the ball rolling for the Missouri Thunder. It's Felipe Furlong aboard Fast Fire. The guy that got the ball rolling for him a moment ago. Can he get him started? Just when you thought you knew which way this is going, it is the number eight seed who is first to strike in this last chance game. Momentum, momentum, momentum. He finishes that last game with a qualified ride, and guess what? Seconds later, he comes back in. He's feeling it, and he absolutely <laughs> knocks one down. His team has got to build off what Felipe is doing here tonight. 84 and a half awarded for the effort. It's a score that they just got to get score after score after score. And that's where you're starting. It is. And it doesn't matter the score right now. It's about getting a bull ride on the board. And with a bull ride like that, them are the ones that build momentum because it's wild and it's electric and everybody gets excited. His team needs to follow suit right now. Missouri saying, don't forget what Nashville did from this seed just one season ago. We'll see if the young gun can match up with the Wiley veteran in this bowl. What is going to happen here? You'll want to give him the eight second ride, but the clock stopped at three and it's being reviewed. Oh, this could be huge. I am so excited to watch the replay on this because as you can tell, that bull hit him right there in the face, but did he slap him? And the best part is afterwards, he just steps up and goes to town on Chisel and says, you gonna hit me in the face? I'm gonna ride you. I don't think he did. Look, he took his helmet off and he's holding his face. And that was three seconds into the ride. He set up and kept go. Look at that shot he takes. He stepped into the ring with a 1,800-pound champ, took a hit, and kept riding. No matter what the result is, everybody needs to look at this and take your hat off for the try, the effort, and the determination. Remember what I said earlier about Cade Matson and the pressure he's had uh, against him this season, and don't let this season's statistics be indicative of the talent he has and what's gonna happen the next few years. Let me introduce you to the guy I'm talking about. That right there shows the kind of star he is destined to be. The future is good for bull riding. Where's the one off the back of the shoots? 
Webb, you're either standing in the perfect place for a celebration or you Look better get out of there. The, the crowd is absolutely on Caden Matson's side. We are thinking it's totally face-to-face. There's no free arm in this. We need a thumbs up big time right here, guys. Ross Coleman agrees with you a thousand percent. Yeah, this think, just Kate? in. You could get punched in the mouth, just don't pet him. It's a rise! You what was that reaction like, Webb? <laughs> he remembered it real quick, guys. <laughs> Qualified ride. You will be hard-pressed anywhere to go and see a more deserved bull ride, regardless of the score, but I think it should be a big one. We're going to see that back so many times, and I look forward to it every time. That effort, hey, incredible. Guys, look at this. Look at this. The number eight seed Missouri Thunder has a two-bull lead on the other two teams in this game. 86 and three quarters. That's the biggest 86 and three quarter point score Missouri has ever had. Missouri, who has been shut out more times than any other team this season, finds a way when it matters most. And the Thunder move on. Flint standing by with Ross and the winning team. Uh, down here with Ross Coleman, first of all. Hey, I, you guys come in, the, the last place seed struggled all year to move on to a Saturday. What a thrill. Good bunch of guys. Absolutely, man. I'm proud of each and every one of these guys. We're young, we're a little bit green at times, but we're we're real tough, good cowboys, and I love everything about them. Also with me over here, young Cade Mad Madsen, on a legendary bull, you take a shot to the head, finish the ride, what a thrill. You know, uh, we didn't get it done on the first try, but we come to win that gold buckle, and so we just looking forward to tomorrow and letting them hang. Well, it's, hey, Matt, it's still, it, that slipper still fits a little bit, Missouri Thunder, with a great win tonight. Yeah, but Cinderella looks a little different this season than she did last, but I tell you what looks good, that's a smile on the faces of the Missouri Thunder. He's locked and loaded. They might be the number eight team in the league, but right now they're on top against Austin. Look at Missouri. How awesome is that? It just keeps, it's a domino effect, and especially when you're a young kid like this, when things start rolling, it's amazing. And Luke standing right there. Hey, Cade, that was one heck of a ride to start your team off. We talk about momentum carrying your team into the next four rides. That was huge. Yep, there's nothing better than that for you. Shoot, we're feeling it right now. Uh, I knew that they could, that the team needs to feed off me, and it was on me to get a start in the right direction. And just let, let them hang. Congratulations. I love it. So the kid did know how much pressure there was in that number one spot and how important his ride was. 86 and three quarters on the board. But that can all change in eight seconds. Alvidrez aces this one. Direction change it all. Erase all the buck offs. All that matters here is Missouri's back in the lead. UFC Hall of Famers in the house. UFC owner has the bull, but it's Andrew Alvidrez that delivers the knockout punch on this one. Big time scores coming up for double A. A heavyweight and a lightweight. Who should win every time? Who wins this one? This bull has action, travels out through there, and he just sits down, keeps his shoulders square, never overrides, never underrides, right through the changeup. You talk about bull riding now, that's one right there. Alvidrez hasn't found the whistle since back in week number eight. He's been frustrated, he's been searching, and now he's the one to get Missouri back in the lead. 
in its 88 points awarded for the effort. Earlier today, Andrew Alvidra is hanging out with middleweight champ of the world, Sean Strickland, Hall of Famer Don Fry. I mean, they got all the UFC good mojo going on that one. That was a big one for Double A. How this bull is leaning back on the steel, there's the nod for it all. Wow, was that close. Clock says 7.79. Challenge flag is out. Yeah. Can they find that time? High risk equals high reward, but if you don't get that reward, it's just high risk with tough consequences, and you cannot take away from the risk that Brits Madsen just put out. Right down, down, down. I love the amount of effort this kid just showed. I don't love the landing. Right there, give me The hardest thing in bull riding is you think it's just a split second, but to find that time, it's so hard, and, and that is so disappointing because they put themselves in a position now with the next guy to come, they're in trouble. And there's a look at the starting lineups from Missouri. The first name you saw, Felipe Furlong. It's Furlon and Flapjack doing the dance in Vegas. And what a dance to eight it was. You saw the starting lineup. You saw the guy was leading them off. And you saw the guy that stepped up right away. He's been doing it all weekend. Guys, surprise, surprise. Felipe Furlong is the real deal when we get to Las Vegas. You know what I love about this team right now with Missouri is when they come in, they were so far behind, they thought they were winning first and they've turned it into that. They realize they have the ability and they have the talent. And with rides like this, they are definitely still in this. Hey, look at what we're seeing here, guys. We've seen two of the biggest scores we've seen all season long, and it came from a game that was comprised of teams that lost earlier tonight. Are you kidding me? So Missouri gets on the board, 90 points. Missouri can move a full bull ahead. Paula Rosetto aboard Honey Trip. Off to the side and down underneath Honey Trip. Oh, does he love having those three men right there protecting him on the dirt. Where are you going? What? You, <laughs> you're halfway up the arena, and you're you're rearing back like you're in the middle of the battle with Cody Webster, Kate. It's okay. We're safe up here. And guess what? So is Paulo. He's safe right there when he's got those three: Cody Webster, Nathan Harp, Lucas Teodoro taking care of him. I felt like I had to tuck and get under for Rosetto. Need tuck and to, roll. Tuck yeah, and roll. Need him to get out of the way. Incredible. And look at the reaction of Cade Madsen. For the first time this year, it looks like the kid knows he's that good. And make, that's scary. Make no mistake, he belongs here. And I think right there, Matt, just like you said, he knows it now. He needs 89 points to take the lead away from Kansas City. gets it 90 points they've been in the basement all season and here they are again now taking the lead in the last chance game you think there's not a lot of people enjoying what missouri's doing and the show that they're putting on I, kate madsen is a star in every sense of the word and he just showed the entire world that you got to pay attention Kate Madsen stepping up big. What a weekend so far. You guys coming into the, at the bottom of the lake. You're going to Championship Sunday, Kate. Uh, yes, sir. This is my last bulls for two years. I'm going to be serving a, a mission for my church come December. I'm letting it all hang out on the line. We come to win that gold buckle. 
uh, say something about, tell me about Ross Coleman, Luke Snyder, what they mean to you. Shoot, rough season, but they stayed positive and stayed behind us. You know, I give all the credit to them. I love them both very much. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, sir. Hey. What a standout young man for that team. And now leading their way to championship Sunday. No one outside of the Missouri locker room had them in any fantasy bracket to be there on Sunday. Try and tell me otherwise. And now guess what? They're taking on Austin again as you're taking a look at that bracket. And then, of course, Texas is there with Arizona. For Cade Matson, ties a season high with 90 points. Said he's let it all hang out. He did it in Vegas. Coach Coleman, it's no... It's no secret that anybody outside the locker room of Missouri Thunder did not think you guys would be here on Championship Sunday. You guys using that motivation to get these Bulls road today? Absolutely. You know what? Uh, it's been a, a humbling year for sure. But when you're humble, you got to be patient. And when you're doing good, you got to be. When you're doing good, you got to you got to take care of business and, and and do the work. So it's been a it's been a humbling year, but. We've been riding really good the last couple days, and we're going to keep the ball rolling. So. Do you feel like to get this win, Cade Matson's going to have to ride his bull today? Cade Matson, of course, yes. Cade right here is going to be set up just right. Not something we typically see with Matson. Here we go. Miracles happen, and we could be on the verge of seeing one here. It happens one ride at a time to get that win, and Missouri did just that. You know, miracles can happen for a team, but this is no miracle for Cade. This is what he's done all week. He's really, we've watched him grow in front of our eyes. He's just come into his own. He totally understands what's on the line right here, and he's just every time stepping up to the plate, and he's literally hitting it out of the park. Kane Manson is doing his job. The problem with this is the bull not having his typical day, and that bull just kind of floats around there, not really kicking like he normally does, kind of gets lost about halfway through that ride. But nevertheless, a score is a score. We've said it time and time again. Get your score and get out of there so you can start piling them together. Missouri rolls first. The game was lost. They put him in. He's ridden every bull since. Believe what you're seeing, Las Vegas. Missouri struggled to put up two rides all season long in one game. Now when it's all on the line, they are two for two. Ross Coleman has said all season long, Felipe's a stud. Well, guess what? He just proved it right there. And as soon as that bull turned back, you could tell there's something special with this kid. What a performance. When you're hot, you're hot, and that's all there is to it. When you're feeling the momentum on a bull like this, it's just turning back, kicking over his head, bucking that hard. Not a flaw in this ride. Even waiting, being patient in case the bull jumps the other way, it's game over right there. That is a great ride. No other team has been scared of Missouri all season long. Even their coaching staff said it's a rebuilding year. It's a growing year. We're doing the best we can. Guess who looks scary here on Championship Sunday? Look at that Ryder score, 46. He's three points above the bull. He absolutely dominated in that one. Great job, Missouri off to a hot start. This is the one right here. If they can get this on the board, they have a chance. Man hater letting you know it was no accident. He posted a 47 point bull score. The other side of that though means Anderson comes down. It's the first buck off for Missouri in this one. This is such a tough one right here because we just got done seeing all the videos on how hard this bull bucks and, and he bucks, no doubt about it, but he likes to go to the right and make no mistake about it. When a bull bucks that hard, Quinn was dialed in on that bull going to the right, and I think he stood a legitimate chance. But when they go that hard and go to the left, and he wasn't prepared for it, bulls like that, they... 31 rides. Briggs needs this. But he comes down early. Wow. And it's the only sport out there when the play is over, the danger does not stop. Webb, you and the rest of the U.S. Border Patrol Protection Team going to work early tonight. Uh, the pressure from the back of the chutes, can you feel it from the riders? 
I'd say that's a yes. Cody Webster along with the rest of the guys down there getting in the mix. Cody, I, I can see you down there just looking up at the big screen. What do you think down there, buddy? Man, right there, just a, that just, you know, it wouldn't be having a good night right there, guys, when a, a bull gets on top of a guy and goes over the top of him and just, you know, we want to keep all these guys safe as much as we can, but it's just, it's bull riding at the end of the day. And, man, one got bias right there. He's got a great bull, one that he's been on before. Saw this happen in Big Sky, Montana, aboard Tulsa time. Ooh, and Madsen certainly with his work cut out for him in this one. The bull having a little bit different day than what we've grown to uh, expect from Tulsa time. You said it, Matt. You watch this bull. He just travels out through there, and he never really totally commits to anything, just rolling back and forth. These are really hard bulls to track, and you can see they always just want to keep your body weight rocking and rolling until they get it one way and they dart out from underneath you. Those aren't the funnest ones to get on, but in bull riding, you still got to ride them all. We're talking about moving forward. Cade Matson. he mentioned to us, uh, actually, forget about the Unleash the Beast season because he said these will be the last rides he makes in competition for two years, heading off to a mission. Needs to ride to keep his team in the game. And that bull had a different scenario. Fakes one, goes the other, it leaves Marcelo hanging. It does, and that, and that was the book on that bull. He likes the right, but he can just look right, go left, and, and then we're the kind of bulls that the guys really like because you don't set that trap for him, but if you do, it's gonna make you pay every time. So with that buck off in a must ride situation, that solidifies the victory for Arizona. Missouri will have just one more attempt. Subscribe now.